Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 49 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, where today I have cleared out just a little bit uh, of, of space here. Just a little bit. Because I want to prep for what's going to be and, and, and get this mob farm really cooking today. That's, that's absolutely the plan. Let's 100% let's this mob farm. Uh, so last episode we got to the point where we can spawn a copious amount of weather skeletons, uh, which will eventually also be blazes and endermen and a few other choice mobs that we want a lot of drops from. Uh, however, at this point we're just getting the basics down. So we've got the pressurized mob spawner for weather skeletons with 10 speed upgrades in there. It spawns really quickly. Uh, spawn every little three ticks. So every three ticks it spawns a weather skeleton. So that's like, yeah, you know a lot you know of mobs like uh what is that seven per second so seven skeletons per second spawning pretty cool beans right so today the plan is i want to use create which was my original plan in the nether to uh go ahead and set up some fans and the deployer to use the infinity hammer to automatically kill the mobs for me we're gonna see how that plays out because uh, I think the Infinity Hammer, when it kills a mob, is going to get its drops. But the Wither Skeletons are going to drop a whole lot of stuff. So is it going to get a bunch of stuff all at once? Or what's it going to do? So I think we're going to have to see what happens with, with the Deployer. We're going to set that up to somehow transfer items into some kind of drawer system where we'll store large amounts of all the drops. Coals, bones, Wither Skeleton Skulls. And that'll give us a good pathway towards getting lots of weather skeleton skulls because eventually we're going to want to do some weather spawning and some killing and all that stuff right so that's kind of the plan then then uh what we're going to do we're going to have fans blowing it in we'll do all that stuff i'm going to set up back here to do all the movements then we're going to have a xnet control to turn on and off the spawner and uh, potentially grab ourselves a blaze spawner so we can get some more blaze rods and a few other things as well. So let's get uh, started. So what I'm going to do is pop down the deployer here. So that's going to be you. Um, and then I'm going to throw down a few fans. I'm just kind of winging this. I don't have a great plan. I'm like, you know, should come as no surprise to anyone. But Dyer not having a perfect plan laid out is not, is not a surprise. But generally speaking, uh, I'd like to have fans. And I think I need a few more fans. Let me get just a few more fans. Like 10-ish. Because I think they're cheap, right? Oh, we're missing andesite? Ew. Why are we missing andesite? How could we possibly be missing andesite? Probably because we're actually using it for a change. Uh, so that and that and that. And that'll get me a handful of fans. Cool. Just a few, please. Let's go. Fans. Psst. Come on. It's taking you so long. Are you making... Uh, you, have to, you have to plate the things, don't you? Well, I guess I could have could have done less than 10, but eh, it's all good. So yeah, maybe one or two more and then we should be cool. What do we got, 10 here? Mm, that might be enough. We'll see. If it's not, we'll come back for more. So what I'm going to have is fans here set up like so. And the direction that... Why do you keep wanting to face the wrong way, fan? Stop being whatever you're being. Hooray! That's better. Uh, whatever direction you spin the fans actually makes a difference. So let's start with our furnace over here. And that's right, I forgot to get my heater. Let's make sure we have that ready. External heater. And do I have a lever on me? I do. Do I have a flux point on me? I do not. But we have one made, so we're halfway there. And what I'm going to do is just kind of stick this guy back in the corner here. So we're going to stick you here with a furnace engine. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to get the flywheel thing. And remember, it's one block space away. And you know you've placed it correctly if you see cables connecting. Cool. So that should be good. And then we should have uh, some shafts that we can kind of stick on this dude. And then for you to run constantly, we're going to want an external heater with a flux point connected to the Darwell 20 network. We want the external heater rotated upwards-ish. Isn't that what we wanted? 
Uh, we might need the hammer, I forget, from for, from from Immersive. Isn't that what we need? The super cool hammer thingy? Something like that. There you go. That'll do. And then we just need a redstone signal to make you work. And now you should be generating 16 1,384 stress units. So the flywheel generates a lot of stress units, far more than my windmill. Um, it does use RF though, because I'm using the external heater. Other options, as we mentioned, there's several other ways we could probably automate this. We could use hopping bonsai plants to make trees, to turn wood into charcoal and loop that. There's a few ways to keep this furnace running, but this is a nice compact intermod compatibility thing, which is kind of a cheese, but also a really tasty cheese. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we're probably going to want those compact ways to speed things up, right? So we want sequenced gear shifts, right? Uh, adjustable chain gear shift. This is the one redstone signal equals faster. So give me like five or six of these bad boys. Uh, and then we also have a few gear boxes. I should probably make a few more of those. And we'll be right back. Actually, no, we don't have to come back because that was really fast crafting. So thank you for being a really fast craft. Um, so then what we're going to want to do, I want this to run at a pretty decent pace. So I'm going to stick a gear shift here and then you like that. Don't you gearbox hook up? Am I, am I doing the wrong thing? Or is it something different? What, what were they that connect to these guys in here? Uh, encased chain drives is what I need. Encased chain drives. Those are pretty easy to make, as I recall. So nice and easy, 10 all at once. I knew it was something like that. I just mixed up what was what. So encased chain drives, you'll connect up to here, and that'll get that guy going a little bit faster. And then we can have you, and we can have you, and we can have you. Yeah, theoretically, I don't need in my inventory at this moment you or you or you. Because we really, I, we're not going to need more than one of those things. Okay? It's just not what's in the, in the, in the needs. Cool. There you are. And remember, redstone signal equals spinny faster bits. Cool. Nice. Okay, cool. That looks good. So now if I want you guys all to move together, would in case chain drives do that for me? It's a question I don't really understand the question or, or the answer to, but I guess we'll find out. Am I understanding how this works? Oh yeah, look at that. Ha ha, cool. It's working. It's working. So I don't think this guy's getting turned. But that is cool beans. Look at that. Look at that. So just to demonstrate what this is doing, because the fans are blowing in the direction they're blowing, watch what happens. I'm just I'm just sneaking inside the room, and as soon as I get in there, I'm not touching the keyboard. It's going to pull me right towards the fans. Perfect. That's what I want. That's what I want. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, and then we're probably going to want a pair of fans over here. Now, if I sneak, I'm still getting pulled. So we want to... We want to we want to be aware of that. So we want some fans there, and some fans there, and we want it such that they're going to uh, blow. Is pretty much what we want. We want we want blowing to happen from them. So uh, could I do? And I'm not super sure how like the perfection of things would be, but I think gearboxes might be cool. Let's see how that works out. That should be nifty. Would a gearbox work here too? I don't know the difference. For for this purpose, I don't know. I think encased chain drives is nice, but they, they could just as easily be gearboxes, right? I think so. The nuances of create. 
Now let's see if you're spinning the right way, huh? Oh, hello. They, they are spinning the right way. That's cool. Though it's possible one's spinning-ish the wrong way. You can see how the particles are. So see how that particle is going towards this? That's not what we want. Right? We ultimately want this thing blowing in that direction. So we're going to want to not reverse you. <clears throat> so maybe the chain drives is what we want so that they don't get reversed. Can I chain drive right next to each other? I don't know. Am I out of chain drives already? Relays rotation in a straight line into adjacent and case chain drives. Chain drives connect in a group when placed next to another. Okay, cool. Guess we'll figure this out. I'm just curious if this will connect here and spin that guy. It doesn't look like he does. Okay, that's fair. But what I could do is something like this. Get in so much trouble. Is that cool? Yeah, see how they're both pushing forward now? So they are both pushing forward now. That's what's up. Cool. And just to hyper demonstrate how this is going to work, if I'm over here, see how I get pulled towards it? and then I get pushed this way. Now these two are gonna push me and ideally I'm gonna land right in front of this guy, okay? So that's the plan. We're just gonna replicate what we made over there, over here. Cool. So then we're gonna want a couple chain drives so that you're facing the same direction, right? And then we can have the gearbox here. And then we can have a gearbox here. And that should work. Is there a better way to do this? Probably. You know Dyer, he has no idea what he's doing with this stuff. But that, and you're both blowing in that direction. Pay attention to the direction and how the particles are moving. This tells you if you're pushing in the right direction or not. So now, when we enter, wherever we are in this room in theory now, we get pulled in, and I'm not touching the keyboard right now, and we're gonna be positioned nice and centered right in front of this deployer. Look at that. Without touching the keyboard, I landed right in front of the deployer, which is what I want because that will make skeletons also get pushed in front of the deployer. Now, how do I get deployer spinning? That's a good question. That's a good question. Uh, I probably want the wrench. I think I need you. Okay. Uh, deployer, how are you gonna spin for me, buddy? may not have wanted to break that because I still want the light here. I want you guys to see what I'm doing. Is it the bottom or is it a side that you need to... Oh, it's a side. That's a bummer. Because I really wanted the fan right next to him. And that's the deal, right? So what I could just do is do a gearbox here. Right? And then chain drive you. And that'll make that happen. So what the downside to this... But I, know, I don't know that there's any way around it. The downside to this is that there's really not in this line... There's no fan, right? That's a little bit of a bummer. So alternatively, what I could do, and this might work, this might work. What I could do is move you up one, because there's also not gonna be a fan on this line either, really. So what we could do is put fans here and, is that it for fans? Am I out of fans again? I'm not a fan of how many fans I need. And then put this here 
and then we could put the deployer on top and that might be cool uh, and then all we really need can I do this no I think it can either go vertical or horizontal but not both right uh, I believe that to be true so what we're gonna want is another gearbox here and then I just need to get some spinning going on. So what I could have is, how do I wanna do this? You know what I could do? And then we could belt it. Oh, that's kinda of cool. How do we feel about that? Is that cool? Right? Yeah, so now I like the looks of this. And let's, uh, mm, I don't love how you're going to be in my dark room, though. You being in my dark room is probably not an ideal situation. Uh, how can I resolve said problems? Uh, I think there's a way. Because I'm assuming you're going to let light through. Hmm, give me a sec. What if we just straight up did this? Is that, a, I mean, it seems like a problem, right? That works. Right, and then we can close that off. It's a little bit, but it's not bad, right? I don't think it, I don't think it matters. And you're still blowing in the right direction. I had to put two gearboxes here because I needed, I had a gearbox here, it was switching it. When I removed that, we were then pulling, so I wanted to reverse that. But that looks pretty cool. All right, so I like this. So then the next question is gonna be, what's the deal with you? So let's get a chest and you know what I'm gonna do real quick? I'm gonna get some ultimate logistics stuff. Um, so advanced logistical transporter, I wanna bump you up and then I wanna bump you up and get you added to the crafting system. So I can get some ultimates. I think we get eight at a time here, right? So that should be cool. I hear the buzzing. Let me know stuff's working. Hopefully everything's working, but we'll find out. We might be shy on a few things. Uh, yeah, we're shy on refined obsidian dust. We want to run that through the enrichment factory, right? And then you go in here, because I haven't automated this yet because it's expensive to automate. It requires a hefty amount of diamonds to get everything kept in stock at all times, and I'm just avoiding that for this moment. But once we get a stupid amount of resources, which will absolutely happen, by the way, at some point, uh, then we can worry about doing that thing. Cool. So for now, I'm going to do this. Shortly, I'll do something else. Uh, so that means you can do that. So I'm just curious how well this is going to work. We ready? So let's test this out by... I really should set up my proper redstone control on that dude, too. Let's do that. I'm going to try the redstone proxy and see if that's the right way to do what I want to do here. Because it might be, and I'm not sure, but if I can facade the redstone proxy, that means I can do that here instead, and we don't have to have this happening. That would be cool, right? Okay, and we're totally going to want to hook into that, but I think I can facade that properly. So let's see if I can facade the redstone proxy. Not 100% sure, but we're going to try it out. Boop, boop. And did I have facades with me? Eh, maybe not. Because I think the redstone proxy I can put a lever on. I wish I could I wish I could facade it, 
but it's okay. You do need to have a connector. I wasn't sure. Redstone proxy. I guess that works. We'll find out. I'm not 100% sure, like I said. We'll find out. Okay. So how do we want to run this bad boy? It's going to seem a little stupid, but I'm, I'm going to run them all the way back here. Ow! You're hot. Hot things are hot. In today's episode of Daryl 20, we learn hot things are hot. So I'm going to do my XNet controller can be here so we can get to, we'll just tap into that power line. Cool. And then I wish I could tap into him in a way that wasn't kind of a mess, but I think I can proxy or I can facade you and then you're a solid block. All right, but you look like a cuz that's what I clicked on. Uh doot and then do doot. Perfect. That works, right? That works. And then if I wanted to, I could do the same thing for that. That's cool. You have to admit that's cool. I really like the the wireframe that he adds when you're holding shift. That is super neat. That is a super neat wireframing effect, and I like it a lot. Now, of course, I don't have enough XNet wires, because I wasn't planning to go this far, but it's okay. XNet wires are cheapish. I think they require rose red dye, but you get a lot of them per craft, so it's not a big deal. Okay. So that means you... Ow! Hot things are hot! I mean, he's only 263 degrees Celsius. I don't know why he's so hot. But you're being kept nice and cold, so that's appreciated. Alright, so then what I can control here then is... Um... We're going to have a logic, right? And you create sensor redstone greater than zero, output white, and you create output enable on color white, signal 15. Cool? So if I'm not mistaken, that should do what we want, I hope. And then we can facade you to look cool. The flames are there, so that's a good sign. Aha! It's working. Okay, cool. And if I turn you off, he stops working. Beautiful. So now all we gotta do is give him the sword. Because I kind of forgot to do that. I love this thing, by the way. It's so OP. What just happened? Oh, I got weather skeleton skulls. Uh, right. Do you have the sword? Where's the sword? Where's the ridiculous sword? Is it in there? I want to wrench you. Oh, that's the wrong direction. I need to get close enough to get in range here. Put away some of this junk, sword, bone, etc. Where'd the ridiculous sword go? Did he get extracted? He might have gotten extracted. Hold on. Yes, that's what happened to him. All right, so what I want to do is put the sword here and then put it in his fist. And that should be cool. Close. Well, that's also not what I wanted to do, but whatever. Uh, put you in that direction. OP sword. 
So let's turn off these things for a second so I can get everything working. I can make that a redstone control, by the way, remember. So make it so that he's, yeah. But we also want to, so if I put him on the filter, he won't be extracted by the extractor doohickey. Cool, so that, that, and that should all be correct. And then we can set this back up and he's ready to murderize. You ready? And we're gonna see if this iron chest with the things does what it's supposed to do. But we'll find out, because I'm not entirely, this is the one piece of this puzzle I'm not super sure about what's gonna happen. Oh, that's cool. Ha 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 ha. Let's see what's happening in the background. Don't go in that room, Darwolf. Stop getting pulled in. Is it doing what I want? Yes, it is. That's awesome. Why do I feel like we're not getting nearly enough skulls, though? We should be getting far more skulls, shouldn't we? Like, we're getting a lot of things, but shouldn't we be getting more skulls at this point? Why is the skull number so low? We should very much be having more skulls. <laughs> it's so cool. I wonder if there's skulls, like, inside the foyer? He stops running until he's empty, right? Should probably turn this guy off. Let this do one more. Murderize. I should make that a redstone control, right? Yeah, why so few wither skulls and skulls? That doesn't make any sense. Because I was getting far more skulls from this when I was doing it as a player. Right? So why so few wither skeleton skulls? It's the pieces are there. We're really close. I just gotta figure out why that's happening. Um What's the redstone y control dude? Because we definitely want that. Uh no, not redstone contact. Clutch? A control to engage, disengage rotation for connected stat when stop okay, that's what I want, yes. And we could totally make this part of XNet too if we wanted to. Right? So then I give you a redstone signal and you stop the whole shebang. Neat, right? How cool is that? How cool is that? All right, so that's super cool except for the lack of skulls. Why so few skulls? That makes almost no sense to me. I mean, that makes absolutely no sense to me if I'm being honest. The design is really good, though. I'm really pleased with how everything's working. I just don't understand why we're not getting enough skulls. We should probably be getting more. I mean, we're getting them, and that's what counts. Right? We're getting a lot of everything. Hmm getting a lot of everything except skulls. That's the weird part. Why are we getting so much of everything but skulls? It's a thing. Alright, we'll be back in a minute. I mean, we're getting them. It's just way slower than I thought we would. We're getting everything else like a stupid amount. Skulls are just being weird. So just for giggles, what I think I'm gonna do is kill a handful of weather skeletons by hand with the same weapon and see what difference it makes. All right, so your beheading is three out of three. Your area is nice and big. If I turn this on, I should probably close the back door a little bit. Aha, I was close. All right, well, let's see what happens. I just got 19 wither skeleton skulls from that one swing. I just got another 19 Wither Skeleton Skulls from that. Like, okay? Uh, any questions? Any questions about the skulls being weirdly low? I'm wondering if beheading is not taking effect because it recognizes, like, a lack of player. Like, maybe it's, it's detecting that it's a fake player and it's not applying beheading. That's the only thing I can think of. Right? Like... 
So this still works really well for blazes, among other things, I'm going to say. Right? Now, what I'd like to do is filter this output in trash swords uh, and maybe also set up like a drawer system for this. That might be a cool time. So what if we made... Did I not teach you drawers yet? Come on, direwolf. Let's go. Let me teach you how to make you, and I guess that's probably enough. Uh, I should teach you a drawer controller, though, now that I'm thinking about it. And how about a compacting drawer? Would that be cool? Just so we know how to make them for future reference in case we ever need. So give me a drawer controller and give me like 10 drawers. Cool. Thank you. Uh, and then I'm going to want a trash can. I don't know which one I want. There's quite a few trash can options. See how this looks. Do you have a filter? You do. I like that. I like that. So I'll just filter swords go into the trash. I like that. What's happening? Ah, things. I think that's a fae from Man and Artifice. That was cool though, wasn't it? How cool is that? Uh, wisps, pixies. Pixies is what they are, not wisps. This isn't Thalmcraft, I will. Golems and wisps. I mean, I mean constructs and pixies. Man, they're hard to hit. They are really tiny hint boxes. The first two I made look deceptively easy, but the last one was. Oh, well, that was cool. That's a new mob, right? We didn't see them before, did we? Uh, so let's see, if we had drawers here. And uh, what if we had the drawer controller on the top? That sound like a cool idea. Now where's my drawer key? Cool, all right, so you're gonna get that. And then you're gonna be a trash can filtered to stone swords. Cool. Okay. And then what I'm gonna want is more ultimate logistical transporters. Can you give me like 16 ish of those? They shouldn't take long to craft, I don't think. And they should work because I think we had enough resources, yes. There we go, eight, 16, perfect. So in theory, what this should do is it should only insert stone swords into the trash can and it should only insert these guys into here and that everything else will stay in the drawer, I think. That's feeling pretty good. So you're trashing all your tr all your swords. You can see it's really fast. So I don't know if you can see how fast it is, but it's going really quickly. And then the wither skeleton skulls should empty out and nothing else should leave. Perfect. That's what I expected to happen, and it is. Now if I grabbed myself one of these and one of these and one of these, we can add you guys all here. Boop, boop, boop. And now everybody's going into the pool. Awesome. Awesome sauce and then we do some void upgrades and we're good i think that's good all right so the one takeaway from this which is a little bit of a bummer is that for whatever reason it looks to me like the beheading enchant and the beheading infinity hammer mechanic neither of which are working on a fake user which is super a bummer so we're yes getting so we're yes getting wither skeleton skulls from this, just not very fast, right? 
And now everything's sorting appropriately. Right? So I'm a little bit bummed. A little bit bummed. Because it's really good, and then a little bit not good. And I don't know if there's anything I can do to fix that. I could try other mechanical users to see if it's a problem with the create deployer versus a problem with just the infinity hammer. But something about the infinity hammer or the create deployer or the combination they're in, that beheading effect is not being applied. And as a result, yes, we're getting a few wither skeleton skulls, but like I killed like a hundred wither skeletons and got three skulls, and then I killed five wither skeletons and got 30 skulls. So like clearly there's a disparity happening. Um, but what we're going to do is wrap up the episode here. We will come back next time. And uh, I'll probably augment this guy with blazes. So we can get some blaze skulls going on. Maybe some Endermans too. And uh, that seems pretty cool to me. I mean, it's a cool build. I'm very happy with how it all works out. I'm just not happy that the beheading is up. But aside from the beheading piece, I think it's pretty neat. See, we got one Wither Skeleton Skull. So we're definitely getting some. And also keep in mind that this is just running. And it's running pretty well. Uh, and it's not killing too much. It's, you know, everything's good, right? Power-wise, and yeah, you're, you're, you're definitely taking a little bit of temperature going on. The temperature thing here is cooking up to a good degree. We're going to want to keep an eye on that. I might need to throw my other Vortex tube back down here. I might. I'll babysit that a little bit and decide what has to happen. But for now, like I said, I think that's, uh, that's a pretty good setup, right? I think it's cool. Uh, so for now, Delta 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think. Do you like this mob farm? It's different than I've done in the past, I think. I mean, it's pretty different than I've done in the past. And it works pretty well. So hopefully you guys like it. All right, guys. Darwell 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.